Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing image background review animation on page load. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like this. When you refresh the page, you're going to see this amazing ink splash that reviews our background image gradually and smoothly. And also it is responsive on all devices, be it tablet or mobile. And I'm going to show you how to achieve this using the Elemental Free version and the Elemental Pro version easily and provide you with the various resources I use in achieving this. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So as you can see, on our limited editing screen, I've already taken a time out to create this basic uh, hero section here with just a simple text, heading text, and the button. As you can see, um, this is just all we have here. So we're working on this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to run you briefly what I've done here to achieve this what we have here. So now on the container here, the parent container here, or this hero container, we're just going to rename this to hero container for reference purposes. Okay. Now, we can see here that we set the content width to full width and then for the minimal height, we give it the value of 100 VH. Item direction, we set it to column vertical and the justify content, we set it to the start and align items to the center. Under the style, we give it a background type of classic and a background color black. For advanced settings, we give the padding to the top 120 pixel and then to the right 20 pixel, to the bottom 100 pixel and then to the left 20 pixel. Now for the first heading text, this creative arena text here, we can see the HTML tag is set to H2. For the style option, the alignment is set to the center and then the typography. The font family, we set it to audio wide font. Okay. And then for the size, we change the unit from pixel to REM and give it a value of 8 REM and the weight, we set it to 700 bold. Now for the text color, we set it to white. Now for this other text here, we used the heading widget. However, for the HTML tag, we set it to P tag, and then we'll come over to the style option. The alignment is set to the center, and then for the typography, we use the font family architects daughter. And then for the size, we set the unit to REM, and then give it a size of 2.5 REM. Okay, and then the basic button here, no, nothing fancy was done here, just basic and uh, text color set to black, and then background color set to white okay and we were able to do this and make it responsive on all devices by reducing the font sizes on various screens as you can see okay so now that we have done that the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over to this container here come over to the advanced settings come down to we all have the css class and we're going to give it a css class of hero then we're going to come down to where we have the custom CSS. Now, mind you, this feature is only available on the Elemental Pro. However, if you're using the Elemental Free version, you can also achieve this effect easily. So I'm going to show you how to do that before the end of this video. So make sure you watch this video to the end. So now I'm going to go to uh, my code editor where I've written down the CSS code that we paste in here. So now I'm just come over here. This is the CSS code. I'm going to copy it out. And I'm going to come back here and I'll paste the CSS code here. Okay. So now I'm just going to expand this a little bit. So we explain certain things about the CSS code that we're going to set. Now we'll come over here. You can see we have the background image URL. Now we can see that we have a quotation mark here. Now between the quotation mark, we're going to paste our background image URL. So I'm just going to go to our dashboard, come down to where we have the media click the library and then here you can see all the various images you have on your website so we're going to be using this image here. so i'm going to select this image come down to where we have the file url and then i'm going to copy it to click pod i'll go back here and then i'm going to paste it here okay so next is the max image url so we're going to paste it within between this um, quotation mark here so i'm going to go back here close this one here and then this is the image we're going to be using as you can see, it's a GIF image or a masking. So I'm just going to copy it out. Then I'm going to go back here. Not to worry about this particular uh, GIF image. It's going to be provided for you to download and use on your project if you want. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it here. Okay, 
So now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'll just drag this back, okay? So I'm going to come over here, still on this hero container, I'm going to come over to our add element and search for the HTML widget. And then I'm going to select it. Now, for the HTML widget, I'm going to go back to my code editor. Now, this is where I've written the short JavaScript here. I'm just going to copy this JavaScript here and then I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so now that I've done that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, we can see that our effect has not taken place on our website. However, in order for it, in order for us to see what we've done, we're just going to click on the publish and then click on the preview changes. And then we can see our effect taking place smoothly. Okay, so in a situation whereby you are making use of the free version, what you're going to do here is you're just going to come over to the customize. Now, before we do that, I'm just going to go back here and then come over to our hero section, come over to where we have the custom CSS, and I'm going to copy this code out. Rather, I'm going to cut it out. Now, I'm going to publish this. Now, when you come over here, you can see nothing happens. If you refresh this, nothing happens. Okay. So now, what we're going to do here is we're just going to come over to this customize, and we're going to click it. Then we're going to come down to where we have the additional CSS. We're going to select it and come down to the bottom here. And then we're going to paste our CSS code here. You can see it has taken effect instantly. Now we're going to publish it. And then we can exit. So now we can see our effect is taking place. So if you're using the Elemental Free version, you can still achieve this effect easily, just as what I have done. Now we can preview this on our live website to see how it looks on other devices as well. Okay. Okay, so now let's load this page. Uh, we can see our effect taking place. Uh, then we can scroll. And if we should refresh this page again, it's going to load the same way, as you can see. Okay, so we can check it out on tablet and see what it looks like. You can see it's working pretty well on tablet. Uh, we can do the same on mobile. Let's see it on mobile. And we can see our uh, effect working well on mobile as well. Okay, so now let's exit our simulator and see our effect working perfectly well. And so we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And if you have any question or suggestion, feel free to drop it on the comment section. And I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. Well, until then, see you on our next video. For now, bye-bye.